And so uh, this question uh, is based on the energy stored in an elongated wire, you know, pertaining to properties of solids. Mm -hmm. So if you know the Young's modulus of the wire and you know the amount of strain which is produced, if you see in this formula it is mentioned strain percentage, which means you know, change in length divided by the original length multiplied by 100. So that gives you the strain. And the energy stored in the wire is given by the formula half stress into strain. But this formula pertains to energy per unit volume. So that is half stress into strain. So you, are, you, you don't know stress in this question. Now the way to you know, change this formula half stress into strain is instead of writing stress, you write stress upon strain is equal to y and stress is equal to y into strain. You can see how the same formula of energy per unit volume has been converted into you know, Young's modulus and strain only. So the formula is half strain square multiplied by y. You know the value of y, you know the value of strain using the strain percentage and you can calculate the energy stored in the wire. If the energy stored in the wire which you calculate is the energy stored per unit volume. Thank you.